constantly surprises me about it as well is that you do get those big flashy moments that just make you run to the water cooler and talk about it and you know you gotta, you gotta dish it out the next day but what I find the most interesting is the internal struggles, the very nuanced, small um, internal struggles that each character goes through. And I, I just find our writers do a beautiful job of bringing out those little things. And uh, for example, this season, now that Grace has decided to stick around, whether it's for the legacy of her daughter, or if she finds loyalty to her family, or anything like that, she. But the, the Greenleaf legacy is in the church, and she finds herself back there. And her journey to figuring out what, what, what does she believe? Does she believe this anymore? And I, I find it very honest and real and true that we have all had that moment, you know, with our, our higher power or whatever, you know, we're struggling with, with, um, with our spirituality and the wrestle that people can often have with the church, even if it is your family legacy, even if it is what you come from, what you've known your entire life. Sometimes you have those questions, and I love that Grace is so flawed that way, that she is willing to fight that fight. She's willing to, um, sometimes begrudgingly, go ahead, no, uh, begrudgingly, um, try to figure it out, if nothing else but for her daughter's sake. Yeah, I was just going to say that the image that comes to my mind is, um, do y'all remember The Wizard of Oz? Mm -hmm. Remember, so, it's like Greenleaf takes place entirely in the space between when they see behind the curtain and when Dorothy clicks her heels. Right? When, when Dorothy clicks her heels, the show will be over. The show have found a way to get back home again. And this show takes entirely place in that space where everything has been demystified. And now we're like, well, how, now what? How do we get home now? You're not even Oz. Right? That's the entire show in a nutshell. I'm Harvey Love from Pop Life.